Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and we have had some pretty incredible trophies recently on livestream. So today it is time we go over some of them. Now one of them is going to have slightly lower quality video because I didn't hit record in time so I will have to pull that from the actual live stream on YouTube. So apologies for that, but I figure we will start the video out by hunting a little bit of teal and widgeon at my favorite spot to hunt them. This area has been absolutely crazy, so I'm hoping that we can get something good here today, or at the very minimum at least show you guys how crazy it can be with just the sheer amount of them that you see, as well as where they land. And there we go, they've started landing, and they pretty much always land on this little strip of land here. It's really cool, they're not too far away, less than 30 meters, and you're able to get pretty good shots on them as well, which is amazing. Now typically I do get a lot of flocks through here so we'll have up to like 10 or 15 of them landed at the same time. Uh, there's not quite as many this time but it might just be because I just now got over here and started hunting. But it's still cool to see them landing here unfortunately they are uh, flying away. However let's uh, take this one before it does. There we finally have some more teal flying in and I think before we take these ones out, oh, that's actually a diamond potential one in the front, but as we uh, wait for these to come down, let's show off the location. It's down here on Nakasari Island or whatever this would be. I think this looks like an island to me, but it's a very good area. This is actually a spot that uh, Tree Kiwi and Jaxiebeard hunted quite a bit when they showed off the waterfowl on stream. And it has been just an amazing area for me as well for the teal and the widgeon. I am super happy with uh, how everything has been working in this location. They land in great spots as I was saying and you just get constant action all day. And it seems like that one has landed on the rock and so has this one. Um, that's interesting. We should take that out before it gets away because that actually is a pretty big one. Let's see if we can get that and we can. I have noticed they have definitely increased the range of birdshot because I'm able to hit some pretty insanely long shots now, clear out to 100 meters even. They definitely did something to the range of birdshot. But let's go ahead and grab this thing. Uh, now that I look at the score again, it's not actually diamond potential. It's very close though. I think diamond is like 354 and this one is definitely not that. 343 is still pretty solid though. Oh, there we go. There's some more flying over top right now. Let's see if we can get them. Oh my gosh, we got a two for one there. This is what I mean by the range really seems like it has been increased. I mean, never before could we have made that shot and I wouldn't be surprised if we could get a pellet to hit on one of these. Unfortunately, we're not lucky enough. The other day I did have a shot like that make it though, which was quite crazy to see. Definitely not something you expect after we're used to them not really being anywhere close to that good at long range. But it, we already have more coming in. This is just insane. This is exactly what I'm talking about with this area just being crazy. They're just constantly flying over top of you. But anyway, here is this one right here. This is another brown female, 319. Man, I am a massive fan of the teal and teal hunting in general. This has got to be the most fun I have had when it comes to the ducks and the geese. The teal and the widgeon are truly something else and they are an absolute blast. Here is this one right here, a brown female Eurasian teal once again. And we have those two that we just hit over there that we'll probably just fast travel over to grab. And here is one of those two that we ended up smoking as they were going by. This is just a tufted duck, so it's not actually a teal or a widgeon. And I don't know where the other one is. There it is. So it kind of went into the middle of these. This should be a tufted duck as well. It was from the same flock, and yes, it is indeed a tufted duck. Uh, let's see if we can get one of these maybe. There we go. They are finally landing and uh oh, I somehow picked up that decoy. That's not good. That is going to put a damper on things quite a bit there. Maybe if we're lucky we can still get this thing. I don't know what type of drop this will have. Yeah, it's unfortunate we accidentally picked up the decoy. That is the one thing that I've noticed with uh, the new system of uh, picking up decoys. I do have some situations like that where I accidentally grab a couple, so we're just going to plop those back down. And I think let's go ahead and jump into the stream highlights that we have for this video because there was some crazy stuff that happened and it all started with a diamond Canada goose. Hey, oh my gosh, this is a level 5 Canada goose. Oh, it's landing right there. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. 
That is actually so awesome. And then it looks like there's a brown hybrid next to it. Oh, that is awesome. We've got a level 5 goose just chilling in the trees. That's uh, something I never thought I'd see in Call of the Wild until recently. We could just 22 hornet it from here. I think we will. I think we will go with the 22 hornet. Seems like the best uh, way to not lose it. Look at those brown hybrids too, they look cool. Here we go. Austin, thank you so much for that massive super chat, dude. Holy, that's insane. I really appreciate the support, dude. Uh, without people like you, I would not be able to do this, so I really do appreciate it. I really appreciate all of the support. That is so generous, man. Thank you so much. For the diamond! Yep, for the diamond. This diamond... Right here. And now it's dead. Here we go. Let's, uh, go ahead and claim this thing. It looks like it's just a normal common. But is it a diamond? Oh my gosh, it is. That's a big diamond, too. It scored nine. Oh my gosh. And for those that were curious, this is why some of the 8.50s used to score gold instead of diamond, even though it said they would have made it. It's because the real diamond scores 8.59, not 8.50. They now show us the last decimal right uh, in the score requirements. However, it still doesn't show the actual last decimal of the, uh, the actual trophies score, so that still makes it a little confusing. I hope eventually they do show all of the, uh, all the numbers of the score clear down to the last decimal. It would be nice. Uh, but that's cool. We got ourselves a nine scoring Diamond Canada Goose. Three, 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 two, two. Okay. Small males everywhere. This is such a cool one, by the way. I like this. These, uh, stairs going up are amazing. This is actually where one of the screenshots was, I think. I remember this area from the screenshots they shared. Oh, that's so cool with the ducks in the background. Oh, that is awesome. Hey, duckies. Or geese. Geese. Oh! Dude, another one. Another one. What? Oh my gosh, that is the second level 5 Canada Goose today. Just out of nowhere. What is this? That luck. Oh my gosh. And they're all landing now. They're just alarmed? Oh my gosh, that was insane. That was insane. Off the top of the outpost. Or not outpost, the lookout tower. Dude, that's so cool. Now that is how you take down a level 5 goose. That's the way to do it, man. Can we maybe uh What what are they doing? Oh my gosh, these The geese are the geese are having trouble. Um Ah, uh, what's happening here? That was interesting. Um, huh. Well then. Okay, both have died. We're good. Both of them are down now, so we can officially go claim it. I can't believe that. You know, I'd prefer new species, but I mean, I'll take some uh, level 5 Canada geese. 8.90 diamond. That is beautiful. Two diamonds on the day. Sadly, neither were a new species, so that's a little bit unfortunate. But that's still two diamonds on the day. And that was a 70 meter shot with bird shot. My gosh. I love the range on the 12 gauge bird shot. It's very good. I feel like they increased to this update. I really feel like it can hit a lot farther away than it normally would. Links. Albino Eurasian Lynx. Albino Eurasian Lynx. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I've never killed a rare Lynx in my entire time playing this game. No way. No way. Dude, no way! It's a female t- Flinter? Flinter. We're twinning again. We're twinning again. He just got a Melanistic and now I'm about to get an Albino. His PC just died. My PC just died. What is happening? The whole twin meme is coming to life once again. This is, uh, this is kind of scary. Not gonna lie, this is a little scary to see it happening so... so often. This is crazy. All right, let's uh, <laughs> let's stock up on it. I don't know where it's gonna be, so we're just gonna have to uh, slowly stock up and hope that it gives us a warning call before running away. I can't believe this. This is just 
so unbelievable. I'm actually genuinely just so excited about this. More than most trophies I find because out of the many, many years of playing Call of the Wild, I've never found a rare or a diamond lynx. This is one of the species that has always eluded me. I've never found anything good for lynx ever. So this is like the biggest shocker to me. It still says very old, so I think it is safe to move a little bit quicker. And also apologies guys if I don't read chat as much. I'm hyper focused on trying to get this thing down at the moment. So I apologize if I don't respond to as many uh, chat messages as normal. I really, really hope that we can uh, get this thing down and not mess it up. That'd be great. It is a female, so it's it doesn't have a chance at diamond or anything like that. But this is still so cool. Never had a diamond or rare links before, so I'm more than happy to be tracking one right now. This is truly incredible. I think it's pretty far away, so I think we're safe to run. Oh, ooh. oh, it's right there. Oh my gosh, it's right there. I was completely wrong. It's not far away. It is literally 100 meters from us. Let's zero for 75. Um, I could shoot, but I want to wait till it has just uh, stopped moving. I don't want to take any risks. My dog just pushed me. Stop that. Do not, do not, do not do that. I swear if you push me and I lose this because of it. Come on, turn one more time. Not like that. Not like that, man. Oh my gosh, we got it. Albino links down. Albino links down. I think this is the coolest thing we've got on Revon Tuli so far. This is definitely the coolest thing that we have found our entire time playing Revon Tuli. I'm blown away, man. I, I don't know what to say. This has been an insane day. We've had two diamond geese, and now we've got an albino lynx. Something I never thought I'd get in a million years. Oh, I lagged right there. That was scary. Okay, I am stuttering. I'm going to put the camera away and claim this before something weird happens. Albino Eurasian lynx. Wow, that's beautiful. Did they change them? I think this looks different than it used to. A am I just seeing things or is does this look different than the old albinos? This almost looks brighter and more detailed. I mean, it's got the red around the eyes. Definitely the best Revon Tuli Coast trophy we've killed. I There's really nothing that's going to come close to this for a while, I think. A few hours later. I didn't even realize what I was looking at. Oh my gosh, that is incredible. Well, we have something else to add on to this video, I guess. That is truly beautiful. I, I didn't even realize there was anything special in that group. I just started blasting. I came back from eating dinner and I just look on the shore and there's a bunch of teal and widgeon and whatever else. And one's a leucistic. This is insane. I am so happy about this. I've been looking for a rare ore diamond teal this entire early access and haven't found one. Until now, we officially have a leucistic Eurasian teal male. That is just such a beautiful looking leucistic. I gotta say, they've really outdone themselves with these uh, plumage types. And also the fur types for the species with this update as well. Now this has been kind of a trend with EW recently. Every map, the fur types have got better. And we noticed that quite a bit with the piebald variations on the gators. And now with the teal and all the other duck species and goose species, we're seeing some absolutely gorgeous rares and this is one of them. This is absolutely stunning looking. I cannot wait to look at this in the lodge. Quite honestly, that was the least expected thing that could have possibly happened and probably one of the coolest things as well. It's not every day you find something that beautiful and for this to be one of the new species makes it even better. I am just overly overjoyed and excited to have finally got a good teal as they are my favorite species from this reserve. So nice to finally get one of them down.
So now that we have bagged that beautiful leucistic, we have to put it somewhere in the lodge. There's absolutely no doubt it has to go in our main lodge here. And I think we will be replacing one of these European hair as I've got quite a few of them throughout the lodge. Let's put this beautiful teal here instead because that is truly beautiful. That is an amazing looking rare. Absolutely stunning. Now I'm curious, does it still have the golden butt? It looks like it does. Okay, so that was something I was really curious about. Would the entire thing be leucistic or albino when I uh, finally got a rare? And it looks like they do keep some of their like natural colors, like their normal colors. We can even see it in the wings. There is a little bit of other colors in there. That's cool. I like that a uh, little detail and wow, that looks nice. So it's got blue feathers instead of the green feathers. That is so cool. You know, I am, this is probably the most impressive trophy I've seen so far. The leucistic Eurasian teal is probably the most impressive thing that we have killed this entire update. That is crazy. And I thought the Eurasian lynx albino would be the best thing I would find. But uh, this, this just topped it. This is absolutely stunning. And this might be one of the few rares where... I face it in this direction because being able to see the blue on the feathers is huge to me. So we're going to keep it just like this. But right here is where we have that albino lynx and it is looking as beautiful as ever. Absolutely overjoyed that we managed to get one of these finally. After years and years of hunting and never getting a rare or diamond lynx, we have finally done just that. And it is a beauty. This is something we will definitely have to pair with a male rare or a diamond at some point uh, because there is a multi-mount that has a female and a male. This will go great in it and hopefully we can find that in the next couple weeks with the release of Revon Tuli being just around the corner and everybody getting access to this map very soon. There's going to be a lot of multiplayer servers to search and I will definitely be jumping on them. But anyway guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a comment down below and let me know what your favorite trophy that we have found during this update is. I think this leucistic duck right here has to be the best one. But what do you think? What do you think is the coolest thing that we have seen since Revontuli released? But if you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click that like button, and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss any of the future uploads. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below, like I said, and let me know what you guys think is the best rare. But with that being said, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!